when you were getting ready for that show, was your training different than it had been, you know, leading up to other preps? Did you try to mix things up or did you try to do more or less of the same? What was that process like? I couldn't have mixed it up more. I switched coaches. I changed my diet as a result of that. So, you know, I was, I don't know if you remember, but I had been vegan for about three years and I, um, I, in April, I decided to switch coaches. It was kind of a struggle for me to, to do that, but I, I had been with the same coaches um, all along. And I, um, I give them a lot of credit. They helped me build a lot of muscle. And, you know, they were, they're bodybuilders. And so I felt like a lot of the things they were having me do, my physique was kind of not headed in the direction I wanted it to go in. So I did some research and I found a few different coaches that I talked to and I landed on the, um, the same coach that actually Sydney Gillen uses. So uh, the producers, um, pro physiques, and they're actually in Arizona. So that was a switch, you know, going from a real life in-person uh, team that I trained with literally five days a week to an online coach. and. Um, into macros. So previously they were writing my whole diet for me. Every single thing I ate every day, they wrote out for me. Now I have macros. I'm like, well, what do I do with this? You know? And I ended up eating egg whites because I just couldn't fit in. He was dead set against eating anything processed and um, no artificial sweeteners. Like a lot of things that I had been doing I could no longer do because I trusted him and I wanted to have a body like Sidney Gillen, <laughs> you know? So I ended up eating egg whites to fit my protein in with this, uh, uh, this low fat and the carbs were different. And, and then I started to introduce other things into my diet and my physique changed incredibly in 12 weeks. Oh, I was going to say, I've seen some of your Instagram photos and I was like, yeah, it's, it's, it's just been in, incredible the change that that's made. But yeah, egg whites. I mean, I, I, I always used to eat eggs all the time, but then it got to a point where I ate them so frequently that like my body just didn't like it anymore. Where I was just like, okay, you know, I, I need to take, I need to take a, I need to take a break from that. But when it came to the weight training aspect, did you change things up too? And did you uh, add and introduce yeah. different things or did you do, mm -hmm. you know, different styles of weight training? Yeah. So, um, up to that point, I had an entire day that was dedicated to chest and an entire day that was dedicated to just arms. So biceps and triceps and my new coach, Damien took those days out. Um, chest doesn't really matter as much to figure arms don't really matter. Well, they matter, but you're, you're hitting your arms enough and everything else that you're doing that you, you don't need that anymore, you know, as much. So I had, um, back and shoulders twice a week and in legs twice a week. And then I was doing previously had been doing 40 to 60 minutes a day of cardio. And he switched it to 20 minutes of hit cardio, which is great because frankly, who has the time to do all that cardio? Well, getting rid of arm day, that's almost sacrilegious where I am. I mean, just getting rid of an arm day, but I, that's just, I know, I right? know yeah, I know it's, just, I, I, it took me a while to adjust to it, honestly. And, and, I, and now it's great. <laughs> you know, it's, it's my, my, I still have plenty of arm muscle. I yeah. still have, you know, it's not like I'm lacking there. My arms were just getting so huge. And, um, it, it's, I, I look, my arms looked pretty much on par with all the other girls that were there. And I think that they probably have arm days. I mean, at, I mean, at the Chicago, give, show a, give us a front double bicep. Let's see what, let's see what you got going for. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, she's it, definitely not lacking in the arm. department. Yeah. She's definitely not lacking in the arm department. So yeah, you can take your, yeah, you can take it. You can take an arm day off then basically. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, and that, well, and I mean, it's like people don't realize too. I mean, all these other workouts that you do really do affect your arms too. I mean, I've had so many days totally. where, you know, just doing some back workouts and just doing the ways that uh, some of the movements that you can do with that. I mean, it's, it mm -hmm. really is fascinating that, but one of the exercise techniques that I think so many people that I have on swear by is time under tension. Do you do a lot of time under tension? Um, 
Not as much right now. I mean, I think I think if I had been going through a gaining period with Damien, I would have been doing more of that. But because I really only started with him the last 12 weeks leading up to the show, I was almost kind of maintaining what I had. Right. And and starting to kind of lose a little bit of weight. But I would say that probably I would be doing doing more time under tension because I did a lot of that before. And I I definitely see the benefits of that. Another thing that did that I, that I didn't mention to you is I no longer really work out my core. So I was doing a lot of core, a lot of um, oblique work, and it was just making me wide. And I know that that's kind of a, a debate. People say that it does, it doesn't, but I was doing like weighted core exercises, which just builds up all the muscle underneath there and just made me like a barrel almost. So no more of no more core. I I mean, I had that very same similar experience. I used to be one of those people where I thought, you know, hey, if I do this X amount of crunches every single day, or if I do this amount of core work every single day, you know, I'm going to have just this great ass. But then I got to almost looking like one of those CrossFitters where your stomach is like protruding and it kind of looks like you have like a pregnant yeah. six pack where like right. when I'm trying on, when I'm trying on clothes or whatever, and then I look at the side, it looks like I'm a little bit overweight just because my stomach is protruding so much. So then, yeah, I haven't, I haven't worked out. I only do it like once a week now too. And I do a lot. I do nothing weighted. I do nothing, you know, but yeah, that's one thing that I found out too, where it was, it was really shocking for me. I was like, I just wanted abs. I don't want to have like a really big gut coming out basically. I don't want to have, so yeah, that's one thing. That's very true. Yeah. I mean, you're it, it, w- w- all the other exercises that you're doing, you're holding your core tight anyway. So you're, it's not like you're not engaging it the entire time you're working out. It's just, you don't want to build the muscle underneath it. Yeah. 